Hi everyone. So for those interested in how to create your own podcast, I'm going to very briefly introduce you to Audacity. It's a free program that you can download online. Uh, as I said, we'll be talking about it in week five when we talk about technology, but I just wanted to kind of give you a sense of what this looks like. So as I said in the podcast, I created the script first, and once I had the script or, or the the mini the, the lecture for the week, I then took that and recorded my reading of it. And so in order to do that, I opened up this program called Audacity. Audacity is free. It's very easy to use. It has a lot of bells and whistles, which honestly, you're probably never going to use unless you really get into podcasting or sound recording and things like that. You're largely going to deal with this array of tools right up here on the left, which has the pause button, the play button, the stop button, the important one, which is the record button, and then, of course, moving for moving to the start or to the end of a recording. So once I had my script, I was ready to go. So I, ha I was holding on to my script, and I hit the record button. And so as you'll notice, the record button goes right into it, and you can see a couple different things here. You see, you're at, you see this, bu um, this graph here of the sound of my voice, and it's kind of interesting recording my voice and then also seeing the bar there slowly develop as I speak. And of course you have up here identifying that the left and the right are working. So this will keep going on and keep going on and when I'm done reading I very simply hit stop. Now if there's things that I want to edit in this I certainly can. I can very simply and this is this is what I really like about it is its simplicity. If I know the first two seconds was irrelevant or stuff that wasn't needed. It might even be very similar to like a film where I say, okay, this is podcast one, take one. I can very simply click, drag, and release, and therefore I've highlighted it, and then I can hit the delete key, and now it's disappeared. So I can manipulate this in some very simple ways, or if I think it's perfect, or I get it as perfect as I want, I can go up to file, and I can export it. And it's going to ask me to give it a file name. So I'm just going to call this test1. And I'm going to hit save. Now it's going to ask for metadata. All this is is some additional information. If you've ever used something like iTunes, and you know how when you put a CD in and it automatically finds the author or the artist and the track name and the album, well, you can put that in for this. Uh, for this mp3 that you're you're making so I could put in the artist that would be me and the track name could be test one so that if I were to play this in some environment it would pull these tags in there so I would hit OK and if you saw that screen pop up real quick it told me how long it would took which for a very short file like this it took just a few seconds so as I said, very briefly, this is Audacity. It's a very simple tool. It's a very easy tool. Uh, and if you're already creating the written works, such as your lecture guide, your learning guides, and your, your mini lectures, and even your PowerPoints, uh, this might be a great tool for you to use to add that extra element. You know, something like this a student can download and pop on their iPod or on their phone or listen to while they're, you know, doing something, doing chores around the house or commuting. So I hope this has been useful. I'm more than happy to talk with you if you have additional questions about how to use this program. Thank you.